The Teacher's Pet, an investigative podcast series by Headley Thomas, delves into the unsolved mystery surrounding the 1982 disappearance of Lynette Dawson, a wife and mother from Sydney, Australia. At the forefront of this deep dive is her husband, Chris Dawson, who was a teacher at Cromer High School at the time Lynette went missing. The series garnered significant attention and led to the reopening of the case by New South Wales authorities. As the podcast unfolds, listeners are introduced to Lynette, affectionately known as Lynn, who was reported missing by her husband, Chris, a few days after she ostensibly left their home. Chris maintained that Lynn had gone to a commune or joined a religious group, an explanation that failed to convince many, including Lynn's family. Attention soon shifts to Chris Dawson's behavior before and after Lynn's disappearance. At the time, Chris was having an affair with a 16-year-old student known as Joanne Curtis in the podcast, whom he taught at Cromer High School. The relationship, which began as early as 1980, was inappropriate and illegal, given her age. Headley Thomas underscores the power imbalance and the potentially predatory nature of Chris's relationship with Joanne. The investigation into Lynn's disappearance was marred by missteps and a lack of thoroughness. Crucial evidence was overlooked, and the case was quickly classified as a missing persons inquiry rather than a possible homicide. Chris's claims were not properly scrutinized, allowing him to carry on with his life and even move Joanne into the family home just days after Lynn vanished. Through interviews with friends, family members, former students, and colleagues, Thomas paints a complex picture of Chris and Lynn's relationship, suggesting an undercurrent of tension and disturbance. Stories of domestic unhappiness, coupled with reports of Chris's manipulative behavior, raise red flags about his possible role in Lynn's disappearance. The podcast reveals that Chris continued to live a seemingly normal life following Lynn's disappearance, working as a teacher and raising the couple's two daughters with Joanne. Chris and Joanne later married but eventually divorced. Throughout the years, Chris repeatedly denied any involvement in Lynn's disappearance and maintained that she left of her own accord. Headley Thomas systematically unpacks the details of the case, presenting new evidence and dissecting the police investigation. He points out the failure to thoroughly search the Dawson property and the lack of focus on inconsistencies in Chris's account of his wife's behavior and intentions. There are discussions about potential burial sites, including the soft soil near the family pool, which at the time went uninvestigated. The podcast takes a critical look at the climate of the 1980s, when attitudes towards relationships between teachers and students were sometimes shockingly permissive compared to contemporary standards. It suggests that this environment may have allowed Chris to exploit his position of authority with little risk of repercussions. Pressure mounts as the podcast uncovers more about the culture of secrecy and protection within the education system, where Chris's twin brother, Paul Dawson, also worked as a teacher and had similarly engaged in an inappropriate relationship with a student. Thomas highlights how the allegiance between the brothers created a protective barrier that potentially shielded Chris from suspicion and investigation. The series argues that gender biases and a lack of understanding regarding domestic violence contributed to the police's failure to take Lynn's disappearance seriously. Friends and relatives of Lynn recount her growing unease and her sense of being trapped in an increasingly controlling marriage. Amidst these narratives are testimonies about Lynn's character as a loving and devoted mother, which seem to contradict Chris's claims that she would abandon her children willingly. Legal experts and retired detectives weigh in throughout the podcast, often criticizing the initial investigation and suggesting alternative routes that could have been taken. The impact of media coverage, the public's fascination with true crime, and the power of investigative journalism become central themes as the series continues to draw attention to the case. New witnesses come forward, leading to revelations about the days leading up to Lynn's disappearance. Their accounts provide insights into Lynn's state of mind and cast further doubt on Chris's insistence that she left voluntarily. Evidence emerges of Chris's multiple attempts to recruit high school students to babysit his daughters, which seems to establish a pattern of inappropriate conduct and interest in young girls. 
The podcast also addresses the psychological aspect of the case, discussing the potential mindset of someone who could harm their partner and the narcissistic traits that may have prompted a need for control and domination in Chris's relationships. Thomas's investigation ultimately reinvigorates public interest in the case, culminating in the announcement by New South Wales police that they would look into the case again, partly influenced by the revelations and public pressure generated by the podcast. Throughout, the teacher's pet highlights the role that persistence, new technology, and media attention play in reopening cold cases. It suggests that in a world where true crime can captivate global audiences, storytelling has the power to unearth buried truths and potentially bring justice to light, even decades after the fact. In the aftermath of the series, Chris Dawson was arrested in December 2018 and charged with Lynette's murder. The arrest stands as a testament to the impact of Thomas's work and the importance of not letting difficult, unresolved cases fade from memory. The teacher's pet serves as a poignant example of the far-reaching consequences when the justice system appears to fail victims and their families. Through exhaustive research, community engagement, and interviews, the podcast exemplifies the potential of investigative journalism to resurrect interest in a forgotten case and push for answers in the search for justice. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.